I love Team Fortress 2. Ever since 2007, this game has been the best online team-based class hero shooter hat trading simulator game developed by Steam Game Out there. And ever since I first launched it in 2015, I've always loved loading it to casual, playing spy and stabbing people in the back over and over again, or playing soldier and failing to rocket jump, but it's fun to try. I've spent way too much time playing this game, and yeah, I'm not constantly playing it anymore, but I still check in every now and then, and it's still fun. There are some problems with the game right now, with the bots still invading servers, but even that's died down recently. This game is one of my favourite games ever made, but I have one problem with it. Random crap. The one problem I have with this game is the people who make it. Valve does not care about this game anymore. It's really sad to say considering how good they used to be, with all the unforgettable updates and great changes, but these days it's a different story. This game is still huge, it's one of the most popular games on Steam to this day, so it makes no sense why they stopped updating it. It's been... Nearly 1,500 days since the last major update. It makes me wonder what this game would be like if Valve never gave up on it. How different would the game be? Would they finally add Luigi as a class? The heavy update, the update everyone is still waiting for. Valve promised this update in 2017 and uh... Yeah. Now, I'm no competitive TF2 player, so I probably don't know what's best for the game, so feel free to threaten me in the comments. Here's the main things I'd add to TF2 if I was Mr. Gabe Newell. The Pyro got four new items in the Jungle Inferno update, so I'd give four items to the Heavy. For the first item, I think Heavy deserves a new primary. Compared to all of the other classes, most of the Heavy's primary weapons are very similar. I feel like a Tommy gun would really fit the Heavy's character, and it could play completely differently to the rest of his weapons. Then I'd give him a wacky, goofy secondary, like a bowling ball that he can used to damage and knock people back. Oh, and I'd also give him a bear trap secondary, which would be such a good idea. Valve hire me now. For his melee, uh, he gets a PNG with the scout that he can swing at people. I mean, what do you mean I need to give someone else an item? I'd give the spy a new sapper that takes two times as long to use on buildings, but instead of destroying it, it swaps its team. I don't know, it's kinda cool in my head. So yeah, if I can come up with decent things to add to an update in like two minutes, then there's not really much stopping Valve from putting a bit of effort in to make something just as good. And yeah, I know it's not just as easy as that, but it's not like Valve is some underground indie company with no money to spare. Just take a little bit of that Dota money and spend it on the funny hat game. <laughs> If you can't wait for that, there are loads of other options out there made by the community. The TF2 community isn't perfect, but there's loads of great community made mods and services that really set them apart from any other community out there. Yeah, it might take a really long time to get in any of the matches, but the games I've played on stuff like that have been pretty great. The servers that have custom items, balancing and other content, the most I've played of community servers has been trade servers and that stupid untextured orange one. A lot of people say this game is dying and there needs to be some sort of community mod to save it, but the only thing I see saving TF2 at this point is just one update, please. So Valve, if you're one of the three people who watch my videos, please update this game. I love it so much. So yeah, in conclusion, TF2 very goofy game, Valve is dumb stinky and Dota sucks. 